doing? I'm sorry. <sighs> yeah, that's the one. So nice. right Thank you. Right. Break a leg. Break both of them. Sarah, I'm kidding. Daddy. Hey. Is this your program? Hey. Grace. I show more mirth than I am mistress of. And would you yet I were merrier? Unless you could teach me to forget a banished father, you must not learn me how to remember any extraordinary pleasure. Herein I see thou loves me not. All the world and all the men in How am I supposed to walk in this? You just walk. But doth he know that I am in this forest and in man's apparel? and lives by bloody drops? I would not be thy executioner. I, I fly thee, for I would not injure thee. <laughs> Thou tellest me there is murder in mine eye. Tis pretty sure and very probable that eyes which are the softest and frailest things... <laughs> that are the softest and frailest things should be called tyrants, butchers, murderers. Who's to happen? Now I do frown on thee with all my... And I am sure as many as have good beards, or good faces, or sweet breaths, will, for my kind offer, when I make curtsy, bid me farewell. Try not to make entrances in scenes you're not in. Other than that, great. Same with you, Sylvius. Huge leap forward. Celia, excellent. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's see who else. Uh, Phoebe. Where's Phoebe? Uh, right here. Uh, the picnic scene. What was up with that tree? Well, my costume is a little big. Oh, right. Blame the costume. Well, can we do something about that, Sarah? Well, you know, it's not really easy doing costumes plus playing Audrey, especially since I happen to have an ulcer. Oh, like you have an ulcer. Excuse me, it's been medically diagnosed. She'll fix the skirt. Just know that your work tonight is really very good. Thank you. It really was. Thank you. Alexa! When you're done hey. with that donut... You, you are amazing. amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Like you. Uh, oh, Jess, hi. So were you. I'm coming to this every night. Okay, your public awaits. I will see you back here tomorrow night at exactly half hour. Do not be late, okay? Okay. okay. Thank you. Oh, Ted. Ted, I'm proud of you. Your work is really grown. Oh, well, thank you, Mr. Dimitri. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, Mr. Dimitri? Mm-hmm. Was there anything you wanted to mention to me, or...? Like what? I don't know. Like, anything. <laughs> oh, God, when she dragged that tree, you know? I mean, a lot of stuff went wrong. Yeah. Well, things can't always go according to plan. Hey, Grace. You were hey, the best. you. <laughs> Thank really you. Really were, sweetie. That was just wonderful. Thank you. Oh. Where's Eli? They were both so good. I am not surprised. I can't believe you didn't come. 
Well, you had to work, sweetie. Yeah. We'll go tomorrow night. Yeah, maybe then my costume won't destroy the entire set. Oh, Jesse, it did not. Yeah, but it did, though. Mom thought it was part of the show. Mom was there? Like she'd miss opening night. Well, maybe I'll go tomorrow. Yeah, great. Then we'll go together. Okay. I didn't get a chance to meet Tad. I hoped you would introduce me. Oh, well, maybe some other. I also didn't get a chance to congratulate Mr. Dimitri. You know, Grace? Yeah, you can see him on closing night. He must have been very pleased. Was he pleased? I really have no idea, and I actually don't care. I mean, Mr. Dimitri isn't God, you know? I'm going to bed. Good night. Good night. Good night. I mean, what actually matters is whether or not I'm pleased with myself. You're absolutely right. But what did he say? Out here? Long? Never mind. Can you just come now, please? Where? You're driving me to school on the way to work. Oh. Uh, yeah. Um, I think you better drive. Uh. Wait, let me see your pupils. Yeah, all right. Obviously, I better drive. Yeah, obviously. That's right, turn away in shame. I'm just looking for my shoe. Your eyes are all bloodshot. Well, that's called normal morning blood. I can't believe you actually get high in the morning. Eli, that's just wrong. OK, good. Why don't you tell me everything that's wrong about me? You know, right before I go to work. That's exactly how I like to start Shut my day. Up. With plenty of criticism. Can we go, please? Jess, did you see the muckraper? Look, they loved it. There you are. Do you believe Binder? Oh, my God. He is totally insane. I know. What? Oh, in Western Civ, Mr. Binder was, like, up on this chair. And he, he did the rule. <laughs> he was so <laughs> sweet. <laughs> anyway, here. Here's the part about your half-sister. A stepsister. Oh, right. As Rosalind, Grace Manning commands the stage, always poised and in total control. And then they mention how you got stuck to the scenery. Oh, no. But then they say how when you started singing, everybody forgot about that. Yeah, but come on. I mean, that was so funny. I don't think anybody's ever going to forget it. Here, let me see that. <laughs> so you are going to fix my costume before tonight, right? Well, gee, Jesse, it's always got to be about you, doesn't it? I'm kidding. God, look at her face. She thought I was serious. Hey, don't worry. Sarah will fix it. Sarah can fix anything. Come on, let's go. You know, I don't see why she's wearing this huge long skirt anyway. Don't move. I see Phoebe in something hotter. No way. The concept is that she's innocent. A really short skirt can be innocent. Plus, it's more 60s. Yeah, well, people also wore skirts like this in the 60s, like constantly. I looked it up. Can you please stop shifting your weight? So I, I didn't realize that you two knew each other. Hmm. So if you known Katushka was my best friend, you probably would have sucked up to me a little bit more, huh? She's kidding. I'm totally kidding. Wait, Katushka? Yes, I call her Katushka, and she calls me Sarushka. Hey, what should Jesse's Russian name be? All right, take it off. I'll him in at half hour. Here. Can we please get something to eat? Because my stomach. Can we please really... not hear about your stomach lining today? Hey, Jess, come on. Try not to get stuck on any trees. What took you so long? Oh, people are freaking. There was a line. Okay. Eli, I've done the coffee run. It never takes this long. You know what? I think you're better off just not going in there right now, OK? I got it. What, are you kidding me? No, I'm not. So try being just a little more proactive today, OK? More pro what? Hey, do I hear coffee? Yes, sir. I got, uh, here you go. Delancey, Wait. just uh, help us out here, will you? Oh, OK. Yeah, absolutely. Just, just let Delancey do this. 
I need to speak with you for a minute. Okay. Uh, Looky, no, no, listen. I know there's. I'm not gonna even explain to you what happened out there, traffic-wise, because I know that doesn't justify anything, and I know I've taken long doing a lot of things, but like the whole missing tape thing, you know that that should never have happened. Uh, period. Right. And this shouldn't have happened. And, I, and I'm sorry. It won't ever happen again. Okay. Because I know I can do a better job. I know I can. I will. You're fired. What? Are you serious? It's just not working out, Eli. I want to, you know, respect you enough to be completely honest with you. Well, should I finish out the day, or, or what? Do I leave now? You leave now. What? Don't worry. I handled it. Could you help me with this, please? No, I don't believe this. I could not catch a break. Don't worry. No, you don't understand. That's my mother, okay? She, she's, she's a lawyer. She probably figured out I got fired, like, instantaneously. It's okay. I covered for you. And I'm extremely believable. <laughs> All right, wait. Uh, start from when she came over. Uh, wh what exactly did you say? That you left work early. Well, it's great. That's a, that's a great cover. It was. Oh, God, she had to choose the one day I got fired to check up on me. Well, people leave work early all the time. Yeah, well, you don't know my mother. To go to the dentist or something. You know, she wasn't checking up on you. Okay, she just wanted to take you to some play or something. Oh, shoot. The play. Then go. It'll cheer you up. No, 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 no. You don't understand. It's I was supposed to be there, like, now. Damn it. Where's my barrette? What? My barrette. No. It's my favorite one. Oh, well. I have to go. So what do we do now? I mean, we can still see each other, even though we're not working together, right? Oh, um, look, Eli. I could try to sugarcoat this, but I respect you enough to tell you the truth. I'm you know, sorry. I really, I, I really wish people Stop respecting me and telling me the truth because it's really making me sick. We both know what this was. Would you at least try to sugarcoat it? Please, sugarcoat it. I'm sorry. I know it hasn't been a very fun day. Everybody decent? Yeah, it's just me. Everyone else is late. Little worms. So, did you see the paper? No. Why? What happened? No, no, I mean our paper, the school paper. We got a rave review. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, they said really nice things about everyone. You should read it. Yeah, I don't read reviews. You don't? But it's, I mean, it's really positive. Yeah, yeah, those are the worst ones. Where the hell is everybody? It's not really that different. It's shorter. It was not that much, and it's just way too big. Well, maybe you lost weight. but yet have the grace to consider that tears do not become a man. His very hair is of the dissembling color. His kisses are due to his own children. In faith, his hair is of a good color, and his kissing is as full of sanctity as the touch of holy bread. But why did he swear he would come this morning and comes not? There is no truth in him. You know you're not the star of the show. I know. Yeah, well, nobody else is complaining about their costume because their costumes fit. Excuse me. Hey, excuse me. 
Wow. Oh, wasn't she? Oh, she was amazing. Oh, I was practically in tears the whole time. Oh, the minute you see that skyline. Oh, oh I know. And when she sang that uh, that uh, oh, heart like a wheel I song. Know. <laughs> it's just... uh, Grace did very well. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Are we supposed to meet her backstage? Or, uh, uh... She told me she'd meet us out here. Yeah. I was hoping I, I might see Eli here tonight. Oh, uh, Lily. Call during intermission. Apparently, he had a hard day or something. What? Uh, yeah, he was supposed to meet me here, but I guess he. Uh... That's odd. Why is that odd? Because I, I stopped by the recording studio late this afternoon, and a woman that worked there told me that he went home early. So you automatically assume. Well, what conclusion would you draw? Well, I don't know. I, I just don't think it's right to. I mean, there could be any number of explanations. His boss might have sent him home. Why? Why would he send him home? Because he was working so hard. I just find it odd that he... Hey. <laughs> Honey! Oh, sweetheart, you were wonderful. Hey. You were wonderful. Thank you. Oh, I still hate my costume, though. I know. Here. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. So, uh, where is, uh, where's Grace? Um, I don't know. She said she had to rehearse something with Tad, so I guess she's just gonna get a ride from him later. Is that, uh, and that's okay with you? Um... You were really good. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Why, how now, Orlando? Where have you been all this while? <laughs> you, a lover? And you served me such another trick. Never come more in my sight. My fair Rosalind, I, I come within an hour of my promise. Tad, you're trying to get me to forgive you. Why are you over there? I, I don't know. I thought that I would... You'd be over here. What's up, guys? Hi. Hi. It just seemed like we should go over this part. I mean, the way he's doing the scene just isn't working. Tad, why don't you go change? I need to speak to Grace for a minute. Yeah, thank you. Look, I had to do something. Did you? Yes, I mean, were you even watching tonight? Of course I was watching. I thought Tad did an excellent job. How can you say that? because I was watching. Tad walks into the scenery. Tad enters scenes he's not in and leaves scenes he is in. He barely knows his lines. Yes, I realize that. So how can you say that? How can you say Tad is doing an excellent job and not say one word to me? Because at least he's doing the best he can. Are you saying I'm not? You know all your lines, all your moves. You know exactly when to laugh and when to cry. You remain in complete and total control at every moment, and the audience is very impressed. But I don't believe one word you say. Well, that's because this stupid play makes no sense. No, come on. She sees this Orlando person, and the very next minute she supposedly can't live without him? It's not believable. Her own best friend can't even figure out why she loves him. Why does she love him? Because he's got no friends, no future, no hope, and he's beginning to believe that the world might, might be better off without him. And that touches her heart. But you know all this. You're just pretending not to. Oh, really? And why would I do that? Because you're afraid. You're afraid that you might feel something that you haven't planned. Well, if that's what you're waiting for, for me to just come out on stage and bare my soul or something, forget it. I'm not doing it. I know you're not. A real actress would. Grace, can I come in? Yeah. So how'd the second night go? Okay. Still can't get over your performance. You just know exactly what you're doing every minute. Not every minute. Jesse told me that you got a rave review in the school newspaper. I don't read reviews. You don't? I just don't see the point. You know, you're a really interesting person. Hardly. <laughs> what is it, sweetie? You're just exhausted? Mm. Well, try to get some sleep. 
Good night, sweetie. I love you. Me too. Good night. Sorry I didn't make it tonight. Oh, don't worry about it. So, uh, tomorrow's the last night, huh? Yeah. Thank God. Who's Brett? Oh, that's, that's my sister's, I think. Um, so I'll definitely be there tomorrow night. So, um... Why can't you sleep? Okay. You know how if someone says something really upsetting to you, how it just like lodges in your mind and you keep hearing it over and over? Do you just want to kill yourself? Yeah. So, what would make that stop? Anything? What do you mean? How come you never asked me to get high with you? Are you serious? Why wouldn't I be? I don't know. I just... You always act like you totally disapprove. Well, so? That doesn't mean that well, I... You don't seem the type. Why? How do I seem? Uh, I don't know. Just like you wouldn't want to lose that much control or something? It's so unfair. Look, it isn't criticism. It's, it's not true, and it's not fair. Grace, I didn't mean that to... That isn't how I really am. You... Oh. I had a really hard night tonight. Okay, just... Just help me out here, okay? Okay. All right. So, wait, what are you saying? I'm saying, why would they let him go home early? You know, why would they do that? There could be any number of reasons. Name one. Oh, come on. People leave work early all the time to go to the dentist no, or... he didn't go to the dentist. You know who you sound like? Don't say Karen. Karen. It just, it doesn't add up. You know, I think once, just once, you should consider the possibility that your son might be innocent. some water or something? No, that's okay. You sure? Because <laughs> you keep moistening your lips. That's a really weird word. <laughs> lips? Moisten, but actually both of them are weird. Actually. Yeah, I know. Moisten. <laughs> 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 So who's this person who keeps saying this stuff to you, who uh, you keep thinking about? Are you really gonna come to the play tomorrow night? Yeah. Are yeah. you just saying that? Or are you really gonna be there? No, I'm really gonna be there. Because look. Okay. You were supposed to come tonight, but you didn't. Which, you know what? It's okay if you actually don't want to come to the play, but just tell me, okay? I just want to know, like, ahead of time, so that I can be prepared for, like, whatever happens. I said I was gonna be there. You want me to sign something or what? Eli? What? Oh, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, this isn't working. Just sit down. Eli, it isn't working, it's making it worse. Look, come on, sit down, sit oh, down. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, God, I'm trying to not think, but I can't. It's like Relax. I'm thinking more. Relax. I can hear my heart beating. It's way too loud. Okay, close your eyes. Huh. Come on. But can you hear that? Uh, breathe. Just, just keep breathing. You like... Hmm. I can't do that play tomorrow night. Sure you can. No. Mm -mm, I can't. Okay, then. 
quit? You don't understand. I can't just quit. It's like a job. They sold all these tickets, and Mom volunteered our house for the cast party. Everyone is counting on me. You can't just let people down like that. I wish I was more like you. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No. No. Because I am making a total fool of myself. See, I actually thought I was good. And I'm not. Then do it one more time. Just for me. For you? Yeah. Forget about everybody there. And do it for me. Can you do that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I am never smoking pot ever again. That's a good plan. Hey. Good morning. I slept here? But where did you... Well, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I slept on the floor. Uh, yeah, sorry. don't worry. I have it too easy. <laughs> Just thought I should wake you up because it's... Oh, God. Maybe I better get out of here before certain people come. Wow, you just saved my life. Anytime. So you're coming tonight, right? Yes, I am. Hey, you're up early. Yeah. Morning. Hey, is Jesse around? Uh, yeah, sure. Jesse! You know what you need is a belt. Are you sure this is okay with Sarah if we just. Oh, don't worry. I'll explain it to her. Oh, mm, good. Because she really has been kind of stressed, and she does have that ulcer. Yeah, yeah. Imagine if she didn't. I mean, not that I don't love her, but it's like the key element to her identity now. It's all she talks about. Whereas you don't ever talk about being anorexic, and that's like 10 times more interesting than some ulcer. What? You know what I mean. So why don't you ever talk about it? I do with my therapist. And it helps. I didn't think it would, but it does. I wish I had something wrong with me. Don't say that. No, really. Listen, because then it would show. I mean, there'd be like this tangible proof of how totally weird I feel instead of having this outside that makes people think I'm always just fine. Just perfectly fine and well-adjusted. And nobody knows how totally unnormal I feel. Yeah, but it's hard having something wrong with you. Everybody knows how you feel. You can't hide it. But what's so great about hiding who you are? You know what I wish I could wear in the play instead of this? This is very 
Been nice? Well, you know, I've just been uh, fixing it up. Yeah, it, it smells nice. I was um, just in the neighborhood, and I thought that uh, it would be good to come by and you know, see see where you've been, to, to see you. Yeah, I mean, you can come over whenever. Are, are, you, are you sure that I didn't wake you? Mom, it's one in the afternoon. I know, but I, it's Saturday. Well, how lazy do you think I am? I don't think you're lazy. Okay. So, I heard you came by work yesterday. Yeah. I was hoping I might see you. Oh, well, you know, they've been changing the whole schedule around. They did? Yeah, yeah, that's why I came home early yesterday, because they changed us to nights and just for a little bit. Oh. Yeah, I, I don't know. They're, they're, they're cutting this whole album, and it's, it's kind of crazy, and they've been working us around the clock, so... Oh, so you mean weekends? I mean, you have to work tonight? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, every night. I see. Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna love it. You're gonna cry. Oh, I know. There's, mm, there's Karen. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can go talk to her. Oh, well, thank you. That's very big of you. I know. I'll save you a seat. Hey, Karen. Hi. Oh, hi. Hey, this is great. Hi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so, are you are you are you here with Lily? Oh yes. Mom. Oh hi. Honey. Is this seat for Eli? No, it's for Julie. Oh well, Eli's definitely coming. So here, let's just sit in the seat. Okay. Okay. There. Now I feel better. All right. Thank you, Mike. Thanks. No, you're supposed to put on your costume first and then your makeup. Mm-hmm. Isn't that Katie's skirt? Yeah, but now it's my costume. What? I wasn't comfortable in that other thing, and this is comfortable, so I'm gonna wear it. <laughs> Could you come out here a second? Okay, Jesse, first of Grace, all. Grace, you don't. Where's Grace? Has anyone seen Grace? Look. She's just gonna do the same thing to you, you know? When she gets sick of you. Before me, there was Joanna Franco. Before her, there was Tara Brody. She's just gonna do it to you, too, so don't think that you're special. Will you, being a man of your breeding, join like Wayscott, and privy thee, I say to you, warp. I'm not in the mind, but I were to be better married of him than of another, for he is not like to marry me well. But not being well married, it will be a good excuse for me to leave my wife. Go thou with me and let me counsel thee. Grace. Come, sweet Audrey. Are you okay? We must be married or we must live in bondage. Did you leave a silver barrette in Eli's room? Wind away, be gone, I said. I don't wear barrettes. Grace, what are you waiting for? Go! Go! <laughs> Never talk to me. I will weep. Do, I pray thee, but have the grace to remember that tears do not become a man. But have I not cause to weep? As good a cause as one would desire, therefore weep. His very hair is of the dissembling color. His kisses are due to his own children. No, in faith his hair is of a good color. And his kissing is as full of sanctity as the touch of holy bread. But why did he swear he would come this morning and comes not? There's no truth in him. Oh, Mr. Dewey, 
Dimitri. Yes? Oh, we have this thing we're supposed to do now, and Grace was supposed to do it, but nobody can find her, so, uh, Tad. Oh, oh, hey, everyone, attention, over here. Tad? What? Go ahead. I thought you were going to do it. You, do you it? had that thing that you were going to say. Thing. You said yesterday. I never oh, said just that. Somebody say something, please. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll say it. Um, all right. Uh, Grace had this whole speech, but um, she's not here. So, uh, Mr. Dimitri, you made us rehearse until our voices were sore. <laughs> Sometimes we couldn't even remember our own names. <laughs> um, you made us work. Harder than we've ever worked before, and you were tough. And sometimes we hated you.